On Killing a Tree by Jeev Patel It takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crest absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves now let's discuss the first stanza it tells us that killing a tree is not easy it is very time consuming a jab of a knife is not enough a tree grows straight out of the earth nourishing itself on the nutrients found in the earth along with years of sunlight water and air and even though the bark looks irregular and scaly leaves and branches sprout out of it stands a two so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bar will heal and from close to the ground will rise curl the green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size so now let's discuss stanza 2 the hack of a knife or an axe or chopping off a bough is not enough to bring a tree down these jabs may inflict pain on the tree but the pain is not enough to kill it the bleeding bark the part where it has been wounded or where a bow is chopped off will heal with time new green twigs will grow again bows chopped off will be replaced by new bows which will grow into their former size again now let's discuss the third stanza no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth in this third stanza the poet explains how a tree could be killed he says to kill a tree its root has to be pulled out the root which is the source of a tree's life must be pulled out of its cave in order to mortally harm the tree by earth cave the point means the point deep inside the earth where the root is attached once the center the life source the root is exposed the tree becomes vulnerable the source is described as white and wet probably alluding to tree sap which is a white liquid stanza 4 then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting with hearing and then it is done in the final stanza we can see the exposed life source which when left open to the sun and air will be scorched due to the heat slowly it will start to become brown with all the softness fading out leaving a hard lifeless remainder behind with time it will start to wither become dry and bent out of shape leaving a corpse where a tree used to be in short the exposure will leave the root vulnerable to all vagaries of weather which will ultimately weaken the tree and finally kill it